Greetings Minecrafters, Nonsanity here, and welcome to a retroactive update for Crimson Skies. This update covers uh, AgriCraft addition to the pack, and how to use that to get started with plants. So, let's get started. Alright, so to do AgriCraft... You're going to need some sticks. You're going to take the sticks and you're going to put them together like that to make crop sticks. Then you're going to need a little bit of bone meal. Oh, I forgot that. Now you're, if you're watching this in numerical order, I'm well or farther into the pack at this point, but I'm coming backwards here to demonstrate one of the changes. Do this, and you should get some seeds. Oh, knock down my light. What have we got? I've got some regular wheat seeds. I need at least one other type of seed to start. What have we got now? Still the same. Oh, there we go. Got some hemp seeds and I got some potato seeds. Our potato seeds we can work with. If you do a use on JEI, you can see potato seeds and carrot seeds. Well, that we can't do that. Re requires mycelium. Uh, there we go. Potato seeds and regular seeds gets you carrot seeds. And that's on regular farmland. So what we want to do is put down some sticks diagonally to each other. Put one as potato and one as wheat. Now, once you get the watering can, it is very useful for accelerating this process, which we're definitely going to be doing in this quick update. So there the wheat is all the way up and the potatoes are all the way up. Now to crossbreed them, Put down two sticks to get these crossbars. And now I like to click right in between. Make sure that you're not hitting the. Oop, I heard it. This is now carrot seeds. We've successfully got a crossbreed. Now, if we're doing this fast, you can immediately start breaking everything else here. And I'm going to go ahead and hoe these two. And put down regular sticks and then start sprinkling. This time I only put down one set of sticks in each spot. This will allow the carrots to spread like you see. They'll only spread once they're full grown but especially with the watering can uh, uh, speed upgrade they do spread fairly quickly. This lets you get more seeds, because harvesting these gets you only carrots. So you don't get any more carrot seeds. And even breaking them only gets you the one carrot seed that was planted there. So you won't get more by just harvesting. The only way to get more seeds is to have it spread. All right, let's go ahead and break these. If I was doing it for real, I'd let it spread to the whole batch, so I'd have a whole bunch of carrot seeds. But I got four carrot seeds. We can do a use on those. And we see the carrot seeds and potato seeds get you pumpkin seeds. So now we can do the same cross blending. Carrot seeds. And, oh, didn't do it. Potato seeds. Now, I really should spread the potato seeds, get more of them. But this won't be a problem right now. You can go ahead and place the crop sticks early. Weeds are turned off currently in the pack, which would make it far more annoying to do this, <laughs> so I'm glad that the weeds are turned off. Weeds can sometimes grow in these double cropped uh, spaces when they're on, and then they immediately spread and kill all the other plants. In that case, you definitely want to have more than one potato seed then you could lose it once it's planted here. So at some point we're going to get 
a crossbreed. It can take a little while, even with the watering can, unfortunately. And now that it's night, it might slow down even more. There we go. And if you hover over it here, it says pumpkin seeds. So those have successfully grown into pumpkins. Again, at this point, I would probably break everything and put down just lots of crop sticks to allow it, oh, not double. And then let it spread so you get more pumpkin seeds to do further breeding with. At some point, you're going to need to, you'll be finished with the basic seeds and you'll need to start working on the magical seeds. And let's see, which one is, all right, white, excuse me. Regular seeds and melon seeds will get you mystical white. And always look to see here what type of soil is necessary underneath this plant to grow. So the melon seeds, they have to be on farmland. The wheat seeds, they need to be on farmland. But here underneath the crops, <coughs> the double crop sticks, <coughs> excuse me, we need grass. And that's the same for all the mystical seeds. So let's clear out all this. Go over here and get some melon seeds. And I got wheat seeds. So what we're going to do here is, I'm going to jump in this spot, and then water to get the grass to spread. And then I'm going to hoe this spot. All right. So now I can plant the um, melon seeds there, the wheat seeds there, and grow them up. All right. There we go. Fully grown. Add the double crop sticks on the grass. And now water this. There we go. And when this fully grows up, we will have our first magical flower. This is the only way to get the magical flowers With once this change has been made to the pack. There we go. You can right click and get petals and it will grow back and then you can right click again and get more petals. So this is a way to get all the petals you need. Oh, I got a bunch that time. And watering will make it grow faster. And again, you want to spread the sticks out if you want to get multiple seeds, but you can still with the seeds and a comma, preferably, plant the petals, excuse me, hit it with bone meal and then use the comma to harvest it to get a double tall, a tall mystical white flower, which can turn into four petals. You can still duplicate your petals even without doing the farming. But you do have to do all the crossbreeding in order to get each of the colors of seeds. Now, some of the uh, magical flowers do need to come from regular crops. Some are mixed with regular crops. Like here we have a brown seed with sugarcane. It gets you the gray seeds. But some of the later colors are just mixtures of two other colors on grass. And then you could be working entirely on grass. Just make sure you don't destroy all your grass. Always keep some. Do that and it'll only take you an hour or two. It took me uh, probably an hour or two to get all these last night when I was testing it out. And it was not too difficult. Thereafter, you can, you'll have to use uh, crop sticks for all of your growing. Oh, look, this one just grew without any watering can assistance. And the crops of old will then be gone. So I'm probably going to have to take out this whole field and replace it with the proper 
crop stick uh, crops since that's all that there should be though I think the wheat seeds are can still be plain maybe no I guess even the ones harvested from uh, bone meal are, are uh, agricraft versions so alright that's how to get the magical uh, flowers for Botania. Enjoy!